Man, it's a sad news. Um, so rest in peace to Matthew Perry. Um, and it said, I mean, how I found out last night, um, I was doing rideshare because I do Uber on the side. And what happened was while I'm doing this trip, I picked up uh, three girls and I picked up, a, it was a guy. And they were going to this Halloween party. While I'm in traffic, one of them pulls out the cell phone. And I guess it was trending last night. It was like, this is like 11, almost midnight. It was late at night. And it was like, Matthew Perry passed away. And I was like, how did he, how did he pass away? They say he drowned. He drowned in a swimming pool. Or his, or his hot tub at his house or something like that. I was like, man, that's crazy. Because he was young. I think he was like 54 years old. I never even heard that he was he was dealing with drugs or he had like like a drug addiction. But apparently he had a drug addiction. And I don't know if that was like a combination of drugs and alcoholism or something like that. But yeah, he, he had problems. So I don't know if he... um, I don't know. Like, I was never like the biggest fan of the show Friends. But I remember seeing it back in the 90s. Like when I was growing up, I remember watching... Like periodically, I remember seeing some episodes here and there. But I wasn't, wasn't like a diehard fan of the, of the show. But I do know who Matthew Perry is, and I did like him. He always seemed like he's a very likable person, you know what I'm saying, like on and off screen. You know what I mean? I never met the guy, but like I said, he seemed like he was a cool dude. Um, and everybody seemed to like him. And like I, I, liked, I liked some of his work. Um, besides television, from what I was reading when I went through his catalog, I, I, there are two movies that he was actually, that he appeared in that I saw. Cause it didn't seem like he did a lot of film. It seemed like he mostly just, just, uh, just focused on television. But he was in um, The Whole Nine Yards, and I've seen the movie uh, 17 again, because I remember um, that um, Zac Efron played like, uh, it was, Zac Efron was like the younger version of his character in, in 17 again. So I do remember seeing those two films, but other than that, I think he mostly just done television. So he's well known from um, being on the, the television show Fringe, which they, they still air like the, the reruns and everything now. But it was on the air for like 10 seasons. So yeah, man, Friends was a big deal. I remember when it came out, this is a very popular show. But yeah, I mean, it's very sad. Other than that, like, um, as far as like the cast itself, I've never, um, I never heard anything bad about the cast members or anything. Or have you know? I, I mean, everybody has like their own personal struggles and you know their personal issues outside of work. But I just never heard anything about anyone from the cast of that show, um, besides Jennifer Anderson. I heard stuff about her over the years, you know, stuff you know with her divorce and all that. But yeah, after we found out the news, you know, about Matthew Perry passing, kind of got our wheels spinning, and we were talking about. Uh, what were we talking about? Um, what was it? Um, oh, yeah, we were talking about Alan Thicke and we were talking about Betty White. Social media was trying to kill off Betty White and she was still alive. And it was like, it was actually before she actually died, they were trying to kill her off. Like they said, Betty White's dead. And people always talk about how like life is short. Life is long. I said, I think, I think life is like very long because you think, if you really think about it, it's very, it's very sad. It's depressing. It's like the longer you live, the more people you're going to lose. So life is just, life is long, man. And it's just like, um, it's just sad. It's depressing. And it's just like, yeah, man. I mean, you you just never know what someone's going through. 